Hello, hello. This video is entitled Trading for a Piano. Trading for a Piano. You want to get the the cheapest the cheapest path to a trade towards a piano. So we will apply Dijkstra. Dijkstra's algorithm. Let me try to draw the graph and explain to you what the problem is. This is a book. This is yours. So this is you. You have the book. It's yours. You decide what to do with it. The book, you can trade for an album. <clears throat> Sorry. You can trade from for an album or a poster. The album, you can trade for a guitar or for a drums for a drum set the poster you can also trade for a guitar or you can also trade it for a drum set the guitar you can trade it for a piano the drums you can trade it for a piano as well let's not write it twice okay now we have weights in order for you to trade the book for the album you need to pay you need to pay five units of currency in order for you to trade the book for the poster surprise surprise you don't actually need to pay anything the album if you want to trade it for the bass guitar you need to pay 15 units of currency and if you want to trade it for the drums you need to pay 20 20 that's 20 units of currency the poster when you want to trade it for the guitar you need to pay 30 30 units of currency and the poster you want to trade it for the drums you need to pay 35 okay the guitar when you want to trade it for the piano you must pay 20 and the drums if you want to pay if you want to trade the drums for the piano you need to pay 10 the goal is for you to convert your book book into a piano yeah what is the cheapest trade that you can possibly do and for this particular example the thing that i wanted to highlight was we are going to try and pay attention to the path at the end of the traversal i would need to find that the cost which we already know from the last video but at the same time we also want to find the path of the trade that we need to do and so we need to take note of parents okay so let me try to how do we solve this let me try to create um, a table here here are the items or you can understand them as the nodes and let's try to make a table for the costs okay there those are the costs that I currently have. I tried to provide space because we also need to keep track of the parents. Or if I'm here, what's the previous thing that I traded? That's the parents column and this, these are the costs. Okay, let me try to use a different colored ink for this. Great. Or let me just... Let me try a different color that I haven't used before. Yeah, okay. So what do I need to do? What I need to do first is I know I'm looking at the book. And if I am looking at the book, what do what do what are the possible what are the possible things that I can see? I know that I can see the album. So let me place it here. I know that I can see the album. I know that I can see the poster. No, not yet see, but I need to... It's it's part of the given. I know that I can see guitar. I know that I can see the drums. And I know that I can see the piano. And piano is my goal. Okay. The costs of each of these from the book. I am at the book. So this is my starting point. This, this whole... i sorry this whole iteration is the iteration where my starting point is the book 
So what's the cost? The cost of the book to the album is I know five. Great. And I know that if I'm on the album, my parent is the book. Great. From the poster, I know that the cost is zero. And my parent is the book. From the book, which is where I currently am, I'm currently processing this. I don't have, I can't see, touch the guitar yet. So guitar is infinite. Drums, the same thing because in in my in my onion I haven't yet touched the drums. I can only see the next possible layer. So this is infinity as well. Piano, lalo na yung piano because it's so far away. I haven't yet seen it. So let's just put infinity here. Great. Now, what do I need to do? Dijkstra tells us that you look at you try to look at next the cheapest node the cheapest node here the cheapest path the very low cost path is the poster so let's take a look at the poster oops whoa let's take a look at the poster or similarly in the graph that we have perhaps i can just perhaps i can just do this to signify that i'm looking at the poster now i've looked at the book let's look at the poster okay so from the poster what can i see i can see a guitar so from the poster of cost zero to the guitar i have 30. guitar whoa hello what's happening to my pen don't die on me pen i need you for the next quarter so we have 30 here that's the path from the poster to the guitar that's the path from the book to the guitar through the poster that's a that's a more accurate way of saying it. okay and i can also see the drums so the drums is 0 plus 35 so i need 35 here poster to poster remains the same and album i can't really see the album from the poster there's there's no arrow here so i can't update anything it remains Five. we're done looking at the poster since we have new values here let's also try to to give them parents from the guitar which was the parent the parent was the poster from the drums which was a parent the parent was the poster all right now we're done with that iteration does the estimate for the piano change the because we cannot yet see it it's in the next onion but it's too far away great we're done with the poster. Where do we go next? Do we immediately proceed to the guitar? Well, Dijkstra says, not yet because you're not done with this layer. Let's look at the album first. Look at the album. Album. Oh, nope, 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 yellow. Look at the album first. Okay, now we're ready to start iterating. Okay, we're now in the album. From the album, I can see a guitar at cost 15. What is my premium album cost? It's 5. So 5 plus 15 is 20. If I take this path, it costs 20. What is our current cost for the guitar? It's 30. Ah, I found a better path. And that path is of cost 20. So let me update you. You're not anymore the best. Best is 20. From not anymore the poster from the album okay how about drums if I go from the album to the drums the cost is 20 plus my previous cost 5 so 5 plus so 5 plus 20 is 25 to the drums drums currently cost 35 from the poster but let me update you you're not anymore the best you will only cost 25 if you take the path from the album if you use the path through the album okay can the album look at anything else um it only looks at guitar which we already updated it only looks at drums which we already updated the path from album to itself will remain the same there is no path from the album to the poster so this remains the same great we are now not yet done because is there a path we have to update everything there's no path from the piano and of course there's no parent yet we don't know it yet great now here's a question what do i process next i know that i processed album 
So processed, 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 processed. What do I go for next? Well, Dijkstra tells us that you look for, so this is the updated list of nodes, right? You look for the cheapest one that you have not yet seen. This is the cheapest one, but I already saw it. Cheapest, next cheapest, but I already saw it. Next cheapest, have I seen it? Not yet. So let's try to look at that. Guitar. We're now looking at guitar. So from the guitar, what do I see? I see the piano. I see the piano. And my my previous cost for the guitar is 20. Guitar to the piano is 20. It means it gives me a path to the piano, which is 20 plus my previous accumulated distance cost 40 in total so here i have a new path to the piano that goes through the guitar and it's 40. great do i does the guitar look at anything else Wala naman. There, there are no other paths from the guitar it's just this so we have already taken care of that Ito wala to. nothing 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 we've already taken care of that um, and then we just have to copy the values. So let's copy the values here because there are no path from the guitar to those uh, to those elements. Okay. We are done with the guitar. The next thing that we need to process is um, cheapest but already seen, next cheapest but already seen, next cheapest but already seen. Let's try to look at drums. And drums are here. Great. And drums can look at the piano. And the cost of the drums to the piano is 10. Previous cost of drums is 25. So 10 plus 25 is 35, which is better than what we currently have right here. And so let's try to um let's try to reflect that in our iteration where we have 35 here but the path is not anymore from the guitar the path is from the drums and of course because drums do not point to any other node we are done with the things that we need to update we can just simply copy the values here and so we have the shortest possible path from the starting node to the piano and to all and to uh, the, the rest of the rest of the nodes and the path in order for us to know um the, the path taken we just simply look at the parent at each step so the piano what's the parent the drums the drums what's the parent the album the album what's the parent the book so piano the shortest path the cheapest path now is piano to the drums to the album from the book so book album drums piano is what we got as the cheapest possible path for this particular problem you want to trade the book for the piano trade the album first then use it to get the drums then use it to get the piano all right i hope you enjoyed that tracing this is a problem that will have uh, I, I know that this is a toy problem but the more i understood graphs the more that i see it in everyday life again it's it's what we use for a foreign exchange it's what we used for for transportation apps it's what we use for um creating ais for games and creating ais that could understand the market so please use this information and build on it so that you can apply it to all the other problems that you may encounter as well moving forward thank you again for watching for your attention i'll see you in the next video if there would be a next video thank you